Um, my name's Hazel and uh, Vickle, I think some of you already met. Uh, yeah. We're both over at Tapuna Ako, um, as was CTLI. Um, hi, come Hello, on in. Sorry. Today what we'd like to do is, it's one hour and pretty much it's like a taster session. It's, you get a smorgasbord of all sorts of different things and if you see something that takes your fancy then we can come back and go into things in depth. Um, so if you feel like your your head's spinning and you've only got like a little little glimpse of things, don't panic. It's kind of supposed to be like that. Um, so the idea is today, what we're going to do is I'm going to tell you a little bit about Web 2, just in case you're not quite sure what it is. Then we're going to watch a wee video, do a quick quiz, um, and then I'm going to get you guys to work together on a laptop and do a bit of a, a scavenger hunt on the internet. Um, which should be quite fun. So, Web2. Um, who's, who's heard of Web2? I've heard of it. I had no idea what it was, which is why we're here today. Superb. Good answer. How can we be using it if we don't even know what it is? Absolutely, absolutely. So, Web1. Um, Web1 was, you remember when you used to go to, say, a travel agent site, and you might be able to look around and you worked out that you'd like to go to the Galapagos Islands, and maybe you'd be able to book online, find a bit of information, maybe some photos, book online. And that's about all of the interactivity that you could get with that website. So it's a little bit like a river. You had the business at one end of the river and they pushed all of the information to you. Um, and you couldn't comment, you couldn't add to that information, um, you couldn't sort of uh, change the way that information appeared on the page, these types of things. Web 2, it's kind of um, got an ethos whereby it empowers the user. So the people who've got the, the um, laptop or the computer can actually create their own content. So you might have a blog, so somebody's got a, a journal and they'll do that. Anyone here got a Facebook account? Yay. So you're using Web 2. Um, Facebook account, you put in ideas, you put in pictures, uh, your friends come see, maybe they make comments on your pictures. Um, so there's a lot of interactivity, a lot of collaboration. So it's that whole idea of creating knowledge together um, and because you've gone and visited and made that comment, you've changed the content on a particular site. So Web2 is very much sort of, it's a little bit chaotic maybe, you've got input from all over the place. Um, and one of the beauties of that, of course, it makes uh, knowledge and uh, access to experts really easy. So I was, I was listening to a podcast just the other day, and um, somebody was saying that they wanted to um, get hold of an expert in the area of social narrative. And they just sort of found the guy's email, dropped him a line, and um, he replied very promptly with a really long email um, that sort of really... Uh, explained and helped with the question. So it's, it's that access that previously you might not have had. So I'm going to stop talking and um, I'd like to just show you a little video. The video is, um, oh, before I do that, any, any questions about Web2? Are you any clearer about what it is and how it works? I the guess for me, I'm probably going to find I am using it and didn't realise it was called Web2. Yes. Um, so for me, it's almost the next step up, the kind of so what question. So how does this link into teaching and learning? How can I use this to enhance my provision on... So probably, probably we're all familiar then with what... Because having looked at your site yesterday and looked through, I thought, oh yeah, I can use all that, but I didn't realise that was Web 2. So possibly we want to go the next step. Yep, and the next step, what we're going to do is, the video I'm going to show you is around something that's grown up, a theory that's grown up around Web2, um, which is called connectivism. And what, it, what this video does is it just shows you just those things. How can learners use all of these neat tools to learn? How, what's your role in this? And how will it actually enhance the whole process? Will it? Um, and which is it's all open to discussion. There's no no yeses and nos. But um, uh, I'll show you this and see what you think. There um, th there is a quiz afterwards. <laughs> it 
it's enough to lift you.